I'm here with a living legend in all of medicine. This is the phenomenal and iconic Dr. Edith Irby Jones. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for taking time with us. You are truly a mentor and friend and role model to every African American female in medicine. Thank you. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine and I'm just enjoying the convention and seeing old friends and recognizing how the new of uh, physicians are carrying on. It is just a joy. Dr. Jones, you have a career that we all have looked to for years. Dr. Jones is the first African-American female at the University of Arkansas Medical School. She also is the first elected president of the National Medical Association that was female. Dr. Jones, did you have obstacles that you faced as both being an African-American and a female that tried to derail you? You know, if I had them, I didn't notice them, and I kept moving. I can't remember any obstacles that were deliberately for me. They were obstacles for anyone who was trying to make some achievement, whether it be the first black in medicine or whether it was your first registration for medicine. Uh, I don't know of any obstacles that were not faced by others attempting to do the same thing. Dr. Jones, do you have any regrets about choosing medicine as your career? No, literally. It's like living in heaven here on earth. Oh, wonderful. And Dr. Jones, where are you now? And what about your role with mentoring other African American physicians? Well, I'm in Houston, Texas, and I have been there uh, since 1959. I teach at the two medical schools there, Baylor College of Medicine and Texas University Medical School. I'm in private practice. I spend approximately 16 to 18 hours either directly practicing medicine, teaching medicine, or otherwise involved, involved in medicine in some way. And I enjoy it. I don't know anything that I'd rather be doing now uh, whether uh, I was doing the, the past my life or uh, whether I intend to do it until I'm 100 years old or uh, older if I still can see and talk and hear and love and be loved. We are here with literally a living icon in medicine, one that has paved the way for female physicians everywhere as well as really made an impact on the health of this nation, Dr. Edith Irby Jones. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Jones. Thank you so much for having me to share this with you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.